Hi, welcome to Henry AI Labs. In this video, we're going to summarize a uh, convolutional network architecture called densely connected convolutional networks, or dense nets. So the problem that they're trying to solve with the dense net architecture is to increase the depth of the convolutional neural network. Now the problem with just stacking on more convolutional layers is that as you backpropagate the gradient from say layer 80 to layer 1, you're taking the partial derivative of each hidden unit and this can potentially get really small and thus the, the network hardly updates its weights as it trains. So some of the traditional CNN architectures like LENet5 and VGG19 don't have that many layers which res with respect to these newer models such as highway networks, resnets, and dense nets which all have you know many layers. So this connectivity pattern is the main idea behind dense nets. So put simply what they do here is that the input to the next layer is the concatenation of all the previous layer inputs. So like in layer uh, x3 the input is the output from x2, output from x1, output from x0, and the original input, all concatenated to make one uh, really deep uh, feature map with the same spatial resolution. So d adding dense blocks, if you have uh, like 10 dense blocks all in a row connected to each other in this way, they'll get really deep. So what they do in the dense net model is they break up the dense blocks such that they can use a one by one convolution. And a one by one convolution preserves the spatial resolution, but it shrinks the depth of the feature map. And then they have a uh, max pooling to reduce the feature map size. So back to the connectivity pattern. Um, one of the big claims that they have is that this is more pr parameter efficient because in, um, in some models you have to, some of the parameters are there just to say, uh, like which, uh, which information should we preserve from this previous layer. So in DenseNet, since all the information is just concatenated ahead, you don't need to have um, information pres preservation functions. It's just about adding new information. So this is the results that uh, they present in their paper with the DenseNet compared to previous models. And you see that they get um, state-of-the-art on all of the most popular academic data sets like CIFAR 10, CIFAR 100, and uh, Street View house numbers. So thanks for checking out Henry AI Labs and this uh, DenseNet explanation. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment if uh, you have more questions about this paper.